Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And this is episode three of Smart Markers. Today, I wanna to show you how to make a skip marker and I'm also gonna show you how to save your markers because you may have seen the last two episodes and wondered if all the work required to create smart markers is worth the result that you get with them. And well, if there are smart markers that you use often, being able to save them and copy and paste them would really help. So let's get to it. So let's start by making a skip marker. And if you don't know what a skip marker is, so this is really useful for recording, mixing, and arranging. So I'll show you an example here. I got a song right here. This is its first chorus and this is its second chorus. So as you can see, there's one minute and 10 seconds between these two choruses. So when I come to mixing this project, I may want to hear the choruses kind of back to back to see if they match each other in terms of loudness and EQ and stuff like that. So this is my skip marker and it has a command ID 40173. 40173 is the command for go to next marker or project end. So with this, I can, for example, start playing from chorus chorus one. And then once I get to the end of chorus one, where this skip marker is, it will start at chorus two. So let's check this out. I'm not going to play you the whole chorus. Let's just play you a couple of measures. So as you saw, it skipped this whole part. Now, what you have also noticed, when we got to this marker, it actually waited a whole measure before starting the next one. And that's based on a preference you have, which is an audio seeking. And here you have this option, do not change playback position immediately when seeking, smooth seek. So in more layman's terms, what this means is, if I have this option turned off, it would just go to the next marker as soon as we run that command and play that marker. And how that sounds is a little bit like this. So as you can see, there was an interruption on playback. So instead we can have smooth seek on. And this is more similar to, for example, how the session view in Ableton works, where there is an internal clock going and any commands you do like playing or stopping waits until the end of the measure before it starts playing that clip. It doesn't just play the clip whenever you press that play button. So again, there's a few options here. You can also use two or three measures if you want. I like to have this on because it makes the playback a little bit more smooth and completely continuous rather than cutting it off. So we with that option on, the command is triggered on 54 and then it plays till the end of measure 54 and then it starts there, which is why technically the end of my chorus is here, but I put the skip marker here. Alternatively, I can also put the skip marker, for example, here and the same results is achieved. like that. And now let me show you how to save it. So the way to save this is to insert marker at edit cursor with custom name and color. This is an outboarder script that you can download from Reapack. Yeah, there it is. And so you can download this script from your Reapack. And this custom action allows you to put a name for whatever marker you want to create and set a color. And then you can create an action that creates that marker for you. So I am already using this particular script, but no problem. We can easily duplicate this. I'm going to come to the script editor. I'm going to do command A, then command and C. So all the text is selected and then I'm copying it. I'm going to close this, start a new action and new RIA script. And let's give it a name, create skip marker at edit position. Now we'll get a blank space here and I'm going to command and V to paste the text here. And then I'm going to change the name. So the name we want for our skip marker is as always exclamation mark command ID. And I like to put some text here just to kind of remind myself what the action is doing because because I don't want to memorize a bunch of action IDs and I'm going to give it a yellow color. Next, I'm going to hit command and S and it will say saved and recompiled. So now we have our own skip marker. And now if I want, I can delete this and I can just run this action and then I can do this in any project that I want. If you ended up using a lot of action markers, it's a good idea to make like a action marker toolbar and then put a bunch of this stuff on here. We already have tutorials on how to customize your toolbar, so I'm not going to get into it. I'll link to those tutorials in the description and Bob's your uncle. So this setup can also be used for recording. For example, let's say I'm recording vocals here. I record myself, so it's pretty difficult to keep getting into recording mode and then getting back and putting on the engineer's hat. So I can kind of automate this process a little bit. So in this song, we have vocals on the verse, vocals on the chorus. And again, we have a really big chunk in between from here to here, about 25 seconds where there are no vocals. So if I'm recording this, I can just start recording from here and then just skip this part and start recording from this part again. However, this system doesn't work with with recording. If I put this same smart marker and I start recording, let's see what happens. Oh. 
as you can see nothing happened so what i'm gonna do is just move this marker a little bit more and we gotta get a little tricky with it so i have two markers here so i'm gonna bring one of them back so this marker just stops recording this is the same thing that happens when you press r so when you press r and hit transport record this is the command id it stops recording but doesn't stop the playback first when we get to this marker the recording is stopped it stops the recording and it stops it with a little bit of delay which is actually a good thing and now once we get to the skip marker it will go to the next marker once we get to this marker it will play from this marker but we need to one more time tell it to start recording so i've made another marker which does the same thing it's essentially as if you pressed r so i'll bring this marker that we're skipping to back a little bit and then we can start recording from here so this is our setup at the end of measure 54 our recording will stop we can even if we want to be safe let's just bring this to the middle of measure 55 so this is where the vocals end and just for safety we're stopping recording here then we put this skip marker here so it will seek to the end of measure 55 at the start of measure 56 it will then start playing from here and this is where the vocals start it will start recording at the beginning of that measure and again for safety we can just bring this back a little bit so now i'm going to start recording and let's see how this setup looks like So this way, you know, if I'm recording vocals, I can just get into my vocal booth and I'll start recording from here. It will go to the end of the chorus, stop recording, then skip this entire part, start recording from here. If you record yourself, this can be really helpful to you. Obviously, you can have like a web remote kind of situation going for that, but I can also automate this process entirely. So what I want to do is I want to start at this measure, record this bit where the vocals are, go all the way to the end here. We'll stop recording here. We'll skip to the next marker, which is here. We hit record again at this point, and then we get to the end. At the end of my vocal recording, we'll hit stop, and then this marker goes back to marker 2 which is right back at the start so I can just record my vocals in a complete loop skip this entire section and just keep recording in as many takes as I want so I'm just gonna start playing from here and I'm just gonna walk away so you'll see the whole thing is done automatically obviously I'm not gonna make you sit through this entire song I'm gonna speed this up in post so let's check it out so we start recording a marker 2 stops at marker 4 and starts at marker 6 goes all the way to the end and then we have go to marker 2 goes to marker 2 starts recording again gets to that part just keeps recording so I guess you get the gist. So let's go over the whole setup now. This is where we start playing. So I just hit space, get into my vocal booth. It'll start recording from here. It will record through to marker four. It'll stop recording. It'll skip from marker five at the end of measure 55. Start playing from here, then start recording from here. It will record all the way to the end. It will stop recording at this point. And at this point, it goes back to marker two. And then I can just loop this setup as many times as I want. And if you watched the last tutorial, you may be asking why am I making two different markers because action markers can run any number of actions and that's true however just from experimentation I saw that this system works and putting both of these commands in one marker doesn't and you know those are things that you will learn through experimentation with action markers because this is an SWS feature and it's a very broad feature so I don't think they have the time or budget or resources to really test every action and see how they behave as an action marker so you got to just do a little bit of experimenting of your own and obviously creating all of this stuff could be a lot of work for you so in the next episode I'll show you how to save a bunch of markers together and that's possible spoiler alert through extensions and marker utilities which is simple enough if you want to start figuring it out but there are a few limitations so let's just leave that for the next tutorial so that's it for today thanks for watching I hope you like this and if you like the work I do in general please consider donating to me through buymeacoffee.com thanks to Bo Denarius for being our most recent donor and Bo is a great songwriter producer and he makes some js plugins as well so in the description you can find links to where to download his js plugins and one of them is a really nice and transparent gate which i really enjoy using and the other one is called delta and that kind of works like the plugin doctor plugin we covered that in a live stream but maybe one day with his permission i'll do a tutorial on that plugin and take care of yourselves i'll see you soon bye